What's going on, VK family? It's your boy Vito coming at you with another early unboxing. Today are the Bubblegum Ones, which are set to release on December 22nd. Now, if you've been following me on Instagram and you actually are a part of the VK family, you might be asking, Vito, you got them like one or two weeks ago. What's taking you so long? We've been asking for this review. Well, I've been waiting on this new equipment, which you might have already noticed, right? We finally got a microphone so you guys can hear my voice just a little bit better. We got a stand with a light on it, and then finally, we're now shooting in landscape mode because this is our first video on YouTube. That's right, Vital is now on YouTube. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Took me a while, it took me a while, but we are finally here and I wouldn't be here without your guys' support. So I hope we do well on the YouTube channel and I hope that uh, we can bring in some new people into the community that weren't there before. I will say, however, I did get a warning that YouTube is full of a lot of haters. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate in the comments. Well, guess what? Guess what? We ready. I'm ready for that. What's up, mother <laughs> Nah, nah. I'm just playing with you guys. It is all love around here. Listen, if you're new to tuning in with Vital on this channel, on our Instagram, whatever it may be, you guys will soon learn that this is a community. Even though Vital Kicks is a resale business and I am a reseller. Hey, bro, come on now, dawg. Come on, man. I'm making my mission to spread positivity and love every way I can. And I think sneakers are a really cool way to make that connection. The biggest thing I learned about the pandemic is all we can do as individuals is spread that positivity and spread that love. So none of us are ever really alone. Right? No! Um, but that being said, I got one more big piece of news to share so I can continue to spread the love in the community. And that is the Vital Kicks 2021 finale pop-up which will be happening the first weekend of December, December 4th and 5th. We'll be going from morning all the way to night for both days. So definitely pop out where you'll see the entire VK inventory. Just to give you some uh, hints real fast, we're going to have some early releases, you know what I'm saying? Things that are unreleased that you can get your hands on early, get Christmas shopping out the way, maybe some grails. This is a hot one that's been coming up lately. Some off-whites. I know the dunks are the hottest ones, so we have plenty of those. The latest collaborations, whatever they may be, because you know Nike and Adidas and New Balance, they've been going off with the collaborations, so you'll see them all there. And then finally, just because it's the talk of the news lately in the sneaker community, Kobe's, right? Um, they're running out of stock. NBA players are stocking up on them, so we'll have some of those there too. So definitely pop out, see the entire VK inventory, and at the end of the day, allow me to spread love through what I know best. That being said, let's dive into what you guys came for. And here we have a VK family, the Atmosphere Bubblegum Jordan 1s that are set to release on December 22nd in women's sizing. Men, I know a lot of you guys are interested in these. Make sure you take off one and a half for your sizing. Before we get into the details of the sneaker, we'll always look at the box and accessories first. So this is a seven woman, which means a five and a half men. So again, guys, make sure you account for that. As you can see, the colorway is atmosphere, obsidian white, and atmosphere. Bubblegum is actually not a part of the colorway, but I have a theory on why it's called the atmosphere pink ones, and we'll talk about that in a second. As you can see, the box is different from your regular Jordan 1 box because it comes in this obsidian or navy, um, and then the Nike logos is, um, I assume they wanted to make it atmosphere pink to match the sneakers. However, they look quite different. Um, I would say it's more of a, a beige or a tan color, real light, real light pink of anything. Um, but that is it for the box. Moving on to the sneaker itself, let's start with the Quick 360. Take a look at the color blocking, the quality, the materials, absolutely beautiful on this. Uh, I think this is the first Jordan one where they're mixing tumbled leather, your regular leather here, and then patent leather. So a lot of different materials on this sneaker. Some of the extra accessories that it comes with is this patent leather tag, which I think is neat. Some people like collecting these. Um, and then it also comes with two pairs of extra laces, not just one, so we can get really creative with our fits. Um, as you can see, we've got a white pair and then that pink pair to match the patent leather. Um, so diving right into the sneaker and the color blocking, this seems to be Jordan 1 fans' favorite color blocking, where we got the uh, main color on the toe box and then the main color on the back panel, and then finally your sole. Um, what's really unique about this colorway is the patent leather. So we're not 
unused to patent leather on Jordan 1s. We've seen it quite often, but what's cool about these is that this is not just a solid pink. The reason why they call it atmosphere is because in certain lightings, and I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it kind of has like a holographic shimmer to it. Some like greenish blues come up in certain lightings. I think we can see that a little bit there. But I think that is such a unique touch that the pictures do no justice on, right? The patent leather on these are so unique and different from any other pair I've seen in the past. Um, so again, high quality patent leather. We got our tumbled leather white on the side panels and then your Nike swoosh here and your trimming along the toe box with this nice smooth high quality leather is going to be in that obsidian or navy. And again, the sock liner and your tongue is going to match those same colorways. So um, a beautiful, beautiful sneaker. Not too many details to go over after that. Um, but why are they called the bubble gum ones? Can anyone tell me that? Besides the outsole having this one stain of bubble gum, like did Jordan step on some bubble gum before an NBA final? I'm not entirely sure why they decided to do this, what the story is behind it, but I think it's unique. And um, it is only on the right pair, by the way. Um, so that could probably help you out with uh, authenticity. Maybe if fakes mess it up on the other side, um, but definitely look out for those details. And that is it for our early review of the upcoming Bubble Gum Jordan 1s. Much love to everybody that watched this video. My VK supporters that went from Instagram over to YouTube. And also much love to everybody that is watching Vital for the first time. I hope you join the community. Now listen, I am a reseller, so if you guys want some extra early pairs, I do have a few left. Shut up and take my money. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at vital.kicks. I think I'm going to put it over here. Vital.kicks. Um, that is your boy. So make sure you connect with me there. We can always do business. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, drop a like, drop a comment. Are you going to cop these for yourself, for your mom, for your dad, for anybody, honestly? Drop a comment. What do you guys think? Is it a flip, a cop, a drop? Anything. Let's get some conversation going in the comments. I'll be sure to respond and uh, signing off for now, guys. So much love to the next video.